Alright, before we actually set up the final lighting system for our level, there's one more trick that I think you really ought to know about. If we take a look around the level, there are several static meshes that look like lights. They appear to have glowing light bulbs in them or other such objects. Now, these objects are using a material that employs the emissive channel, and that channel allows these objects to appear to be lighting something, but it's just the, the pixels of that object itself that are lightened up. It's not really emitting light into the world. Fortunately, a feature of light mass is that these objects can potentially light up our level if we set them to do so. So what I'd like to do is show you how that works and how we can control the lighting that comes out of it, and then we're going to take a look at actually setting up our final lighting setup for the level. So step one, I'm going to take our one and only work light and I'm going to nuke it. So just hit delete. As soon as I do that, the editor switches over to unlit mode because it just detected that there are no lights left in the level. If I switch over to lit mode, everything is black except for any material that is still using the emissive channel. So what I'm going to do is switch over to unlit mode for just a moment. Let's grab, say, this light bulb right over here. Now, telling this light bulb to illuminate our scene is very easy. All we need to do is open up its properties. Let's expand Static Mesh Actor, expand Static Mesh Component, and you're going to see a category for Light Mass. If you expand that and then expand Light Mass Settings, there's just a few properties in here, and these are all fairly straightforward. The first is Use Emissive for Static Lighting. This is our magic checkbox, which makes our lighting actually happen. We can actually click this and just click the build button, and this static mesh will actually light up our level. So what I'm going to do now is close my properties window. I'm going to back out just a little bit so we can see the entire level, or at least a little more of it. In fact, we can switch over to lit mode and get a better view. Now, I'm going to switch over to lit mode where everything is nice and pitch black, and then I'm going to build the level. As soon as I do, you're going to notice a quick jump because I'm actually going to skip the build process in, just in terms of the video. And when we come back, we'll see the result of this emissive lighting. So let's click build. And now the build is complete, and you can see that our level is being lit up. If we look around, there's this great yellowish glow, and this is all being emitted because of the emissive channel of this single static mesh. Pretty cool, but it's also, as far as I'm concerned, just a little bit over the top. I was hoping that these little bulbs would have just a, a tiny amount of light coming off of them, but we can change that. We have a lot of control over how this emissive light source works. So I'm going to select the static mesh again, press F4 to open up its properties. Once again, we'll jump into static mesh actor, static mesh component, light mass, light mass settings. And just checking the checkbox is very cool, but there are other things that we can change too. From the top, we have diffuse boost. This will control how much the diffuse channel will be used uh, as a, a source of lighting. It's just going to kind of boost all of that. Then we have the emissive boost. Think of this like your light's brightness. Uh, I don't really want to change that in this case. Our next one is the light explicit influence radius. Do you remember that point light radius we looked at in a previous video, which would control how far a light would travel? That's what this is. If you leave it at zero, though, the radius is going to be defined by however bright the emissive channel is, so it's kind of an automatic setting. What I'm going to do is pull that down to 128, so just a tiny little radius. Now we also have the light falloff component that controls how quickly the light goes from full bright to dim as it reaches the extent of its radius, and then specular boost, which will just boost up the specularity of the material on this object. Now, I'm going to kill my properties window once again. We're going to pull back one more time, and I'm going to do one more build, and again, you're going to notice a little bit of a jump as I do this. So let's go ahead and click build, and now that's done, and we can see that we just have this little tiny area of lighting on the wall instead of this great big area of yellow light firing out from a single static mesh. Now in the end, a lot of that is just personal preference. If you'd rather have a large amount of influence from a single light, of course you can leave that up. Though we do have a lot of these light bulbs scattered around the room, and if we set them all to have a huge radius with a lot of bright light, it would probably wash out our level fairly quickly. So that's just a quick look at emissive lighting. What I want you to do is go ahead and save your level, and then we're going to move forward actually setting up the final lighting system for this level.